What is adolescence? Adolescence is the period following the onset of puberty during which a young person develops from a child into an adult. The adolescent brain consists of several different parts. The cerebral cortex is the outer layer which gives the brain its wrinkled look. Within the cerebral cortex there are four lobes. The frontal lobe is associated with thought, memory and behaviour and is the lobe most affected during adolescence. The parietal lobe is associated with language and touch. The temporal lobe is associated with hearing, learning and emotions. It houses the primary motor cortex linked to the spinal cord. The occipital lobes are located in the posterior, which is the back part of the cortex. They serve as the primary sensory system for vision. The cerebellum is essential for coordinated movement and balance. It operates independently and unconsciously. The brainstem is the extension of the spinal cord. It controls basic body functions such as breathing, heart rate, blood pressure, orgasm and whether one is awake or sleeping. Hi lads, so today I'm going to be talking to you about puberty and the effects that it has on um, the adolescent brain and how it affects us socially and educationally. As you all know, puberty is a big milestone in a teenager's life. While many people think that teenagers just change physically, changes also happen in the brain. As the brain develops from back to front, the prefrontal cortex is one of the last areas to develop. The brain tends to use the amygdala to make decisions and solve problems. The amygdala is associated with emotions such as impulses, aggression and instinctive behaviour. Many teenagers are blamed for always being in a bad mood, but like I said above, it is because the brain is still developing and this takes a massive toll on the way we, teen we as teenagers think and make decisions. So I'm um, talking about how the um, adolescent brain affects us socially. Um, teenagers of often um, act differently as they were at home in front of a social crowd. Um, for example, many teenagers um, in front of a crowd, they might jump off a tall building and where this seems dangerous, to them it feels like cool and like their brain doesn't process it properly. So this is mainly how the adolescent brain affects people socially. Um, in, term, in terms of um, the adolescent brain, um, educationally, the teenage years are difficult. Problems such as stress, self-image and emotional control are often exacerbated by secondary school make it seem like a physical obstacle course rather than a place of learning. So as you all know, um, many teenagers don't like going to school and this is because the adolescent brain is still not ready for like school and that it just um, is not really ready for to be learning and like for to be processing many things. So that's why many teenagers just don't seem to like school. And that's really how the adolescent brain seems to um, take an effect on people, um, educationally and socially. Well, what's the story? Do you want to go for a pint? No, nah, I'm too busy studying, man. Ah, that's not good enough. Sorry, man. Well, Martin, how can I help you? I'm having an awful time trying to remember stuff. Yeah, it's down on my records here now that um, you've uh, a lot of uh, liver failure and heart problems and you're smoking a lot and a lot of heart related diseases and things like that. Yeah, I shouldn't have done all that drinking when I was young. Right, so today I'm going to be talking about the brain, develop, or brain development and the effects drugs and alcohol have on the brain. The brain goes through radical changes in adolescence. Excess grey matter is pruned out, making brain connections more specialised and efficient. Parts of the brain that control physical movement, vision, and the senses mature first. The last part of the brain to develop is the frontal cortex, which controls impulses, organization, moral reasoning, emotional stability, concentration, and prioritizing. By age 16, adults, adolescents do as well as adults on tests of intellectual ability, but emotional development lags behind, which is why. Uh, which is why this age for some can be a hazardous age, where mortality rates jump between early and late adolescence. During adolescence, there is an increased interest in peer relationship and susceptibility to peer influence increases. This likely contributes to, the, to engaging in risky behavior to prevent being excluded by their peers. This explains why teens are susceptible to the lure of drugs and alcohol. 
Alcohol and drugs change the chemistry of the brain and leads to memory loss, makes it difficult to focus, and health problems later in life. Adults drink more frequently than teens, but when teens drink, they tend to drink larger quantities than adults. There is evidence to suggest that the adolescent brain responds to alcohol differently than the adult, uh, perhaps helping to explain the elevated risk of binge drinking in youth. These factors can lead to alcohol dependence later in life. Today I'm going to talk about the differences between the adult brain and the adolescent brain. There's a big difference between the adult brain and the adolescent brain. Teens and or adolescents endure most of their time undergoing puberty, which is a time characterized by immense hormonal and physical change. The adolescent brain is not fully developed during the teen years, which means they don't act as mature as adults would. For example, this is why we see, the, see teens always cracking jokes that seem sometimes uh, inappropriate to adults. Uh, both teens and adults have nerve connections in their brains. However, in most genes, the connections aren't fully connected. During adolescence, this impacts the ability to process information in a way that looks at the entire picture. This is why teens often choose risky activities, as they do not see the consequences. Uh, we also know the frontal lobe is the last part of the brain to develop. It governs the attention span, motivation and impulses. Uh, the adolescent brain also relies uh, more heavily on the older part of the brain, known as the amygdala. The amygdala deals with primitive impulses of aggression, fear, anger, hence why teens are more aggressive than adults.